Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for more Tigers and Family. Welcome to Part 13 of Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. And we're on the second to last stage of the Wu Hypothetical Route. And I'm trying to choose who to go in with. I would go in as Xiao Chao, but uh, no, no. I mean, she's extra. She's only here because I got the star requirement in the last episode. That's the only reason why she's here. I could do Lu Meng. I could do Lu Shun. Instead, I'm going to do Lu Su. And there's a reason why. Green Acres, my friends. Green Acres. I'm going to have to May cultivate some enemies officers with my rank. I'm about to pretty much mill myself a harvest it's a garden of enemies okay i'm gonna stop with the garden jokes anyway the whole point of runon wait we are back here in runon again hmm, okay the whole point of this stage is we're fighting against the suma clan and unfortunately after this the suma clan does not show up again Ironically enough, they don't show up any time during the entirety of the hypothetical route. Historical, um, they do show up in the last episode of the historical route, but uh, hypothetical, no. I mean, we do fight Suma Yi and Chirbi, and that's it. But Suma Yi doesn't really have a rolling way. That's kind of strange. You want to know what's even more strange? The fact that they literally chopped down the northern campaigns of both Zugaliang and um, we shall Zhang defeat Wei the down to and control like the region of a couple of missions. However, the enemy is quite ingenious. But whatever the we case, there alert. is no star requirement here. All your objective is is to go after Suma Yi by any means necessary. However, you are going to be split up into three portions. However, also, if the, the fact that you're split up and your uh, AI partners are getting their butts kicked, you can't help them! The game won't let you if they become way too incompetent and they're about to die. And even worse, if you're not playing as Lusu, well, guess what? It's going to be an uphill battle. Because Lusu has the worst end of this whole ordeal. That's why I'm playing as him. Because Lusu is guaranteed to die in this Come stage on, because for? of Extreme Legends complete glitches. Yeah. I, I don't mean like Dynasty Warriors 8 glitches because. Dynasty Warriors 8, Lu Su is actually much more competent in certain missions. Say for one, where you're trying to get him to safety in Jing Province. But, uh, he's not as uh, incompetent in um, 8 as what he is here. Because if I was playing at the AI, he'd probably get caught in a trap. And he would be struggling with Wu Hui of all people. Then again, back. I would be too if I don't remember what the damn ladder is. Uh, these winds are too strong, <clears throat> but we've got no choice but to And also, Lu Su would also be in a way. Now, uh, um, for those of you who don't know, the ladder is right over in there. Case, However, the wind is going to be blowing me about. Them. So, I'll be right back until I get on track. Because, yeah, the wind is annoying. You just gotta wait for the wind to stop and go over to the ladder. And, unfortunately, the wind blows me all the way out of the direction that I need to go. So, on that note, I will be back. Alright, now it's time to get off the horse and get onto the ladder. Because the horse will be blown away along with me. So, with that said, now we can go and get Guo Hui and stop these damn fans and proceed. However, the funny part about this is, Xiao Chao is not taking it seriously. 
Well, if you're playing as Xiao Chao, she's basically getting into all sorts of traps. Lu Su, trying his best to rein her in. This poor guy. <laughs> but then again, there was still also a funny interaction in like Dynasty Warrior 6, where Zhou Yu asked, "What is the wife of?" I mean, it's Xiao Yun actually asked, "What is the wife of Zhou Yu doing here?" And she's like, "I have every right to be on the battlefield as everybody else." But no, the funniest one was where Zhou Yu himself actually was wondering what she's doing there. You know, she wandered off on the battlefield or something like that. If only I was healthy. This would be I so don't much think easier. she's that much high Proper maintenance, but still. Oh, and when I'm thinking about characters that should be made, hey, what about Zhou Yu's sons? They may actually play a uh, pivotal role in now we need to try and make battles. Lost time. In fact, what about Lu Xun's sons? I know Lu Xun's sons, uh, they were in the army themselves, but uh, Lu Xun's kid I don't think Lu Xun even had any kids, if I'm not mistaken. Probably didn't. And I think Lu Meng only had one son, but I know for a fact Xiao Yu had kids. I know for a fact that uh, Sun Se had kids. In fact, one of them was Sun Xiao, so yeah. He definitely should have been playable. Probably be like a. Uh, he'd probably be the one to try to raid in his hot headed dad or something like that. No, no, actually, no, he'd be just as hot headed as his dad. Oh no, and now that I stop to think about it, um. Sun Chuan had about six kids. And if any one of them were playable, God have mercy on our souls. Because they were literally the key to Wu's destruction. Well, most of them were anyway. I don't know about Sun Ha or Sun Lu Yu, but the other ones? Yeah, they were the key to Wu. Oh, I don't know. Sun Ding, not really, because he died before all this succession happened. But everyone else, yeah, they were the key. So what's going on here now is we're destroying the pyro cannons in order for us to continue. Yeah, Lusu has a really long way to go. And once we get to the pyro cannons being destroyed, we have to actually beat up the army and, uh, you know, continue on with the uh, events that have them all catch, catch up. And unfortunately, that would mean I would be waiting for the events to freaking catch up. However, no they would be heavily happens, delayed for some stupid, duty. arbitrary reason. What the hell? I literally did not break that Yeah, that is a glitch you just saw. And you want to know what else is a glitch? It's going to take me a long time before I actually get to the event where Dung Eye actually come in to fight. So on that note, let's see get to that, shall we? Because unfortunately, I literally cut down a 40-minute part due to cutting out glitches, so I'll be back. Alright, I'm back again, and I think I'm at the point where uh, Dung Eye will finally come out, because for some reason, that is glitched too. Yeah, Wu is heavily glitched for some reason. There were some glitches on Shu, don't get me wrong. There was that one mission where Lu Su refused to well, Lu Shu, sorry, refused to jump down. There was that, and it would actually cost people a star requirement. But this right here, and also a non jun yeah, we had way too many glitches you in this goddamn game. In Wu alone, I shudder to think about Waze playthrough. Whatever the case, now that we got Dung Eye out of hiding, we just need to beat him up and proceed further in order for us to trigger the cutscene, which would most likely have us in the battle with Wang Yi and Shang Chua. Which, by the way, she barely even had any roles. I'm over here talking about hopefully characters that actually show up, but I realize how they actually don't give now, some people roles. But, I will return. but I'll talk more about, like, like the Sun, like, actually Sun Xuan's kids who really should have the spotlight, considering, again, they are the precursors to the end of Wu. So, with that said, 
I think we just need to go a few steps further and wait for Xiao Chao, and then we're gonna go on ahead and get the cutscene by now. Wait for me, my lady. So on that note, I'll see you after the cutscene. Right about now. <laughs> I told you we were right to lie in wait here. My sons still have some growing up to do, as does my husband. One person is only capable of so much. And if we take care of this here, that's one less thing to worry about. Oh, you're such a smart little thing. Please do not forsake my imbecile son. Your son is not as hopeless as you say. I think, at least. <laughs> so polite. Come now, let's take care of this ourselves. Yes. Now we face off against Wang Yuan Ji and Shang Chu Wang. This is why I have heavy weapons, folks. This is why, because of the fact that, or should I say, man weapons. Because of the fact that, uh, Shang Chu Wang is coming out with a heaven weapon. And I should have brought a heaven weapon myself. Although I couldn't afford it because I spent a lot of my gold trying to max everybody up so that I would be able to finish off the rest of the historical route, as well as the, uh, oh, what the hell was that? Words simply can't <laughs> express how amazing you are. I have no clue what the hell that was, but Wang, Yuan Ji, and Zheng Chua has been defeated. Might as well defeat this guy too while we're at it. And, uh, uh, once we take care of, oh god, no, no, he's got me in a corner. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? What is this? I, I have no idea what just happened. I really don't. I'm pulling back for now. But uh, seems to me some shenanigans have happened. And my mouse almost fell off again. Yeah, the shenanigans are really real for this stage. Now, I'm supposed to go a little bit further, and we're supposed to split off into two groups. One going after Sumashur, the other one going after Sumashao. Now, for some reason, I wasn't able to get to Sumashao. However, I destroy the armor list and go after um, Sumayi. So, yeah, you'll be seeing that instead, because this, this stage is glitching for no reason whatsoever. Lushun, I want you to take it care of It never did that in the Xbox 360 version. That's the thing that trips me out. It's the complete edition. And the funny part about this is it's much more stable on the Switch. But I wanted to go back to what I was discussing on how about like uh, relatives of the Soon family would actually show up. I mean, they have like relatives of uh, Guan Yu, um, Shang Fei and Liu Bei. Well, not his adopted son, but still. <clears throat> Liu Bei has uh, Liu Shan, so it would be nice if Sun Xuan would have had any of his sons and daughters. Like Sun He, who by the way was one of the guys, well, he was originally supposed to be the heir. Or Sun Ding, who by the way was also supposed to be the heir, but he died early. Or Sun Ba, who started the whole inheritance war. Sun Lu Ban, who was backing him up. And Sun Lu Yu, who was trying to uh, stop her sister from undermining the kingdom, but failed miserably. And then there's uh, Sun Liang, who basically was the third, I, if, I think the second emperor. Yes, yeah, the second emperor of Wu, so who I better give was it my literally being battle. undermined yeah. by... His own aunt. No, actually, he wasn't undermined by his aunt. His aunt was basically pulling the strings, and he was just there. But he did actually play an important role, primarily 
to try to get rid of any opposition that would try to usurp the throne. Unfortunately, said opposition was Su Chen. Yeah, the regent. Of all people, he should actually have a model, let alone Zugaka. Because the whole ousting of Zugaka was a really important matter. And yeah, I'm also wandering around because I just realized it was a glitch that's preventing me from going after uh, Suga... Uh, not Suga Don, I meant Suma Zhao. No, Suga Don already was defeated earlier by Lu Meng, but that's the point. But the matter is, Suga Ka was actually a real impact player in, like, the first couple of battles against Sao P and going into the battle against Sao Ri. Uh, <clears throat> also, never mind the Xuan family that actually was, no, not Sun Xuan, no, the Xuan Song and his family who were also impact players in trying to manipulate the uh, Empire in their own favor, but unfortunately was set off to die or left to die by Su Chen. And they ended up all defecting to Wei. Um, just so many. And, and by the way, Su Xuan. Actually, Su Song's uh, related to, like, Sun Lu Bon. And was the first husband. And also, um, she was uh, apparently knocking boots with her uncle, Su Jun. Who, by the way, was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Sun Xuan's older brother, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. And then there's Sun Su's uh, kid, uh, Sun Xiao, who played a general in pretty much most of the majorities of the battle. But for some reason, because of a detractor in Wu, he pretty much just was not even on record because somebody didn't like him. Whatever the case, folks, we're here at Suma Shao. I mean, Suma, Suma Yi, actually. And we're just trying to take care of business and beat up Suma Yi so that way we can end this because it was an absolute glitch fest throughout the entirety of the time. Yes, an absolute glitch fest indeed. And we're almost done. We just need to take care of business and take care of Suma Yi. And only Suma Yi. I mean, you can chase down the others if you want to, but it's not going to matter. We win this fight. This is all part of my grand scheme. And that's it. We just got to wait for uh, Sun, you know, Lusu's uh, banter. Imbeciles of Wu! How could I be outdone by such mediocrity? <laughs> You'd leave a better impression if you fled without the howling. Shall we give pursuit? No. The reinforcements will be here soon. We should muster our forces here. Excellent work, Lu Su. Oh. My lord. It is all thanks to their brave efforts. They have watched you, and learned, and are now ready to lead themselves. If that is how you want to look at it, then I have come this far by following in your footsteps, my lord. Ha! I am happy to hear that. Ambition lives on, from one generation to the next. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're getting close to the end of the hypothetical route. Yeah! And, ironically enough, the hypothetical route is also glitched to hell as well. On that note, ladies and gents, I'm 
probably gonna have to make some preparations because this is on normal and it's going to be hard as hell. So yeah. I will be uh, getting things situated so that we could go on ahead and invade Way. Although I tried to do that off screen, but we're at Way right now. This is the Battle of Sh Assault on Chu Chang, and this right here is the final chapter of the hypothetical route. So next time. We'll be taking on the Battle of uh, Su Chang. However, I recommend either getting Sun Cheng Cheng or Sun Jian if you're playing Extreme Legends Complete. You can get the others on the original game, but in this game, no. You'll see for yourself because this too is glitched to hell. This is RV Man 985. I'll see you all next time.